Hey guys, welcome back to Fundamentally Crypto, where I teach you how to navigate the cryptoverse. So in today's video, we're going to be discussing the power of staking your crypto, and specifically staking Moonbeam and Moon River. And to introduce this concept, I want to use an example where imagine you you know you yourself are a traditional investor, you know you're looking at the stock market, um, and an advisor approaches you and says, "Hey, you know, do you want to buy this stock? It's called Apple." Um, and you're like, cool, you know, you've heard Apple's a good company. But on top of that, they'll offer you 20 to 25% yield on your investment every year over and above the capital appreciation of the asset. Um, you know, that would be an amazing investment because now you're getting more Apple stock just for holding it. And at the same time, you get the appreciation of the stock. So what seems like a dream to the traditional investor is actually the reality here in crypto. And so I'm going to be discussing what this means for us and how this can compound your investment and how you can really be a you know beneficiary of taking a long-term view of the market. So your first question should be, okay, so what influences these staking rewards? So firstly, it's how many coins the validator is staking. What that means is there are different validators in the network, which is effectively a computer, it's a node on the network, and they'll have a certain amount of stake that is busy earning yield with them. Now, the higher that number is, the lower your rewards will be, meaning you should always or mostly aim for the one that has, you know, the least amount of stake staking with them. Secondly, how many coins are staked on the network in total? The more coins that are staked in the network in total, the lower your reward will be because now your share of the pool is, you know, less, um, you know, compared to everything else that's staked on the network. Thirdly, the inflation rate. The inflation rate, think of it as an emission of coins every year. So inflation, you know, in crypto effectively means the increase in the supply of the token every year at a fixed rate. And, you know, the increasing supply is used to pay for the distribution of these staking rewards. And then lastly, the block production. So a validator will produce a certain amount of blocks and then they will get rewarded accordingly. So all of these things you can just look at um, before staking into a specific coin and then that should determine, okay, this is a good validator or not or a good coin or not um, when choosing to stake. Secondly, why is staking profitable? So firstly, it's depreciation over time. So remember the example I gave at the start, you're actually earning stock. You're not earning just a dividend, which means as the price appreciates over time, it compounds because now instead of having just one Apple stock, you have, for example, 1.25. So immediately your investment is compounded by 1.25, um, which, which has amazing effects over the long term. Secondly, it's a forced hold. Right, a lot of us struggle to hold our crypto because we get distracted by all of these new coins that come into the market. And rightly so, you know, a lot of it is amazing tech, but you know, a lot of us struggle to have the conviction to hold for even a year. Um, and oftentimes that's when you make the biggest gains. So it's a great way to force you to hold. Thirdly, it helps you with the discipline. You know, similar to the second point, we don't have the discipline to hold, and this sort of forces you to do so. And then lastly, the compounding effect. So they said that compounding interest or compound in interest is the eighth wonder of the world. Um, and a lot of times our brain can't really fathom it. But once you see an example of it working out, it's really amazing what it can do to your investments. So a lot of people ask, okay, but staking isn't really for me because I'm, I'm a short-term investor. I'm a medium-term investor. But I would like to pose it to you like this, right? Everyone has their stake that they like to, you know, here in South Africa, we buy our stakes. So you want to leave it on the fire for a certain amount of time. You, you might like it medium rare, medium well done. Um, but everyone likes their stake differently cooked. And likewise, and in here in crypto, you know, even if you're just holding a coin for one month, there's still value in staking it because more often than not, you're going to earn maybe an extra one and a half, two percent yield on your investment, um, which all helps at the end of the day. So don't discount the value that staking can have over the long term and even the medium term for your investment. So in brief, the strategy is quite simple. You ought to compound your stake weekly. And secondly, you review it weekly. What this means is that 
let's say you want to auto compound every Sunday. So you leave your stake for a week, let it grow, let it grow. And then let's say you got 0.1 of a coin extra for that week. Now you take that stake and you stake it again. And now your stack is 1.1. Now for the next week, it compounds on 1.1. And you do the same thing the following week. And so you can choose to also co compound daily, for example, whatever suits you. But weekly is nice because you just do it on the weekend and it's, it's pretty easy to do. And then the second point, reviewing it weekly. So remember earlier I said that different validators will offer different yields depending on those first four metrics where, you know, depending how many people are staking with them. When you review it weekly, you decide, okay, maybe I want to move it to a different validator because you can earn an extra 2-3% with someone else, um, which again, in the long term, can make a difference. So starting with Moon River, currently you can earn around 22 to 26% annual percentage yield on your Moon River. All right, so this will take two days to unstake. So let's say every Sunday you want to review your position. So that means every Friday you unstake it, right? So that by when Sunday comes and you potentially want to allocate it to a new validator, you can do that or you can just restake it with the same person all right and then thirdly there's no slashing risk it means you can't there's no real risk in staking for moon river and moonbeam you're not going to lose your crypto for any reason you might just stop receiving rewards and that's why it's good to review it weekly and then fourthly staking re rewards are received even when the delegation is revoked so what that means is if you stake with someone and um, let's say an example I use on a Friday, you want to revoke that delegation because you potentially want to stake it to someone else on the Sunday. What that means is when you revoke it on the Friday, you don't just stop earning rewards. You actually still earn it, even though it's busy being revoked, which is really, really nice. Then looking at Moonbeam with the ticket glimmer, currently the APY is around 160%. So um, if you get in now, you're really going to get some juicy staking rewards, but that will trend downwards to around 20% um, over the long term, which would be in the next, uh, you know, I suspect in the next two to three months. Um, and then it should settle around there. So in this case, it takes seven days to unstake. What that means is if you want to now review your investment on the Sunday, the previous Sunday, you had to already start unstaking so that it's ready for you to review the following week. And then like Moon River, there's no slashing risk. And also the staking rewards are received even if and when you revoke your delegation. Okay, so now I want to show you how the magic works. So on this side, you have Moon River. And on this side, you have Moon Beam. Okay, so we're assuming that your staking reward will settle around 25%, which is more or less where it will be. And your initial entry price is around about current market prices, which is around $8 for Moonbeam and $85 for Moon River. Nice and cheap, great time to get in. So if you had to purchase 100 Moon River tokens and 1,000 Moonbeam tokens, your initial outlay at current prices will be $8,000 for Moonbeam and $8,500 for Moon River. So what you want to look at here now is you put you bought 100 tokens worth of Moon River. At the end of month one, you'll have 102, end of month two, 104.21, etc. So I want to draw your attention now here into this line over here. So at the end of month 12, meaning you held it for one year, now you have 128 Moon River where you started with 100. For Glimmer, you have 1,280 where you started with 1,000. Now notice that this, this is around 28% growth versus a 25% staking reward. Why? This is the power of compounding. Now note that in these calcs, this was compounded every month. Now, if you have to compound it every week or every day, this number would be a lot larger. But for the sake of this calculation, that's how it was done. So you can now scroll down and say, okay, if I wanna exit this investment at the end of 12 months, meaning one year, looking at this block here, and I'm assuming the price at, at exit will be around $35 for Moon Beam and $300 for Moon River. Pretty conservative prices if you ask me. Your portfolio value at exit will be $44,000 for Moon Beam and $38,000 for Moon River. So this is now the key that you need to look at. So 
look at this column, your growth on the initial position without staking was 338% on Glimmer, 253% for Moon River. Now, with staking rewards, you had a 460% growth on Moonbeam and 352% for Moon River. So you made more, an extra, more than 100% growth on these positions purely just because of the staking rewards. Okay. So if you look at it from a dollar amount, your dollar gain without staking is $27,000 for Moonbeam. But if you had to add staking, it's $36,000. So what is that? That's an extra nine, nine and a half thousand dollars just because of extra staking rewards. And if you look at Moon River, it's an extra nine, nine and a half thousand dollars as well. Um, so this is just a basic example and I'll, I'll upload the Excel sheet so that you guys can play around with it. But just look at the difference between staking versus non staking. Okay. And if a lot of people, you know, like to look at this as passive income. So if you look at here on a monthly basis, the number of tokens that you gain every month are deemed in this column and this column. And so you can pause the video and just check it out. Now this is assuming an $8 glimmer and an $85 moon river. Okay. So if you have to change those prices upwards, let's call this, um, uh, let's, let's put it at 40, 45 just to be extra bullish and let's put this at um uh, whatever i'm actually just going to leave it at the current prices just to be extra conservative to show you that it's still valuable um during the bear market so you're getting around 177 dollars a month 166 dollars for glimmer and the value is not so much the dollar amount that you're getting more so the number of tokens that you're gaining because we know that when these prices step up and they and they and they start mooning the value of your position will become a lot more valuable so then when you had to look at it from a daily standpoint this is more or less your daily dollar gain and your daily dollar gain here assuming prices of a ten dollar glimmer and a two hundred dollar moon river so um like i said i'll upload this for you to see but the key is to look at these things just to see what an extra 100% can do for your investment. Um, so yeah, I hope this was useful. And uh, I really want to encourage you guys to literally just buy and hold and stake it. I mean, you know, it's important not to get greedy in crypto and just try and chase the pump the whole time. More often than not, it's the people that buy quality tokens like, like Moon River and Moonbeam, you know, regardless of the price, your dollar cost average into it. And you will see the fruits of that investment over the longer term, um, especially when you couple in the amazing staking rewards that you can get. Cool, guys. So the main point I wanted to leave you with is there's a long term bias on these projects because they are still small layer ones um, that have an extremely bullish future as crypto goes mainstream, Polkadot, you know, scales and becomes a really an industry grade blockchain. Um, and remember, like a lot of people will look at Avalanche, look at uh, Luna, these, these layer ones that did over 100x in the space of a year, year and a half and think, wow, I wish I got into that. Um, you know, the unfortunate thing is no one was talking about it when those guys entered those positions and held it for 100x. So you need to make the decision. Obviously, do your own research. And this, this is not financial advice, but if you want those gains, there's no other way. You're going to have to sit tight. You're going to have to sit on your hands and you're going to have to buy and hold and obviously stake your crypto. So remember, we are going mainstream. The largest companies in the world are investing into the crypto space. So don't get distracted by, you know, the volatility in the market. Really keep that long term view of the market and you'll really see the fruits of your investment. Um, so, yeah, have a great day, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. It helps me a lot and uh, it enables me to bring solid content to you guys. Cheers.